hello so here i am with this wondrous of a table that i have set up and it was here all set up and i was the handiest of women um putting it together but now i have the opportunity to put it downstairs and it just doesn't fit through the doorway so this will be a video to show you how to take it apart there's two screws that go through each of these miraculous holes they both have washers come on come on to protect the precious wood from the harsh metal and heads of the screws and I am not using any type of special screwdriver I'm not even using the right screw I'm just using whatever is gonna get the thing out of the thing and you're gonna see the process as we go along always remember lefty loosey righty tidy and a jiggly jig if it don't want to go lord okay so i apologize for the bad introduction to how to very important thing use the proper mechanics to actually to set up and break down this table together. because i'm not even sure if i explained anything right but we did it and um sure this process was a little complicated iron. because the first time i set it up was easier yet this but table was fighting this me this time so this video is basically hey watch me set up work. my table um in the kitchen set up. that i'm gonna eat on for forever to yay and put them back up. um i am working with the these screws that were just fighting me this whole time and it was frustrating but at the end of the day, oh, it just taught me patience. Right insert. So now things are going a lot speedier. Let's get to work. With um, advice with legit wood materials like bed frames and tables, I would just say be careful of splinters and making sure that you're being careful with the actual wood products if you want to keep it for a long time because you don't want to... Um, you just want to make sure you know what you're doing and you're being gentle. I always want to make sure that I'm taking my time with everything I'm doing, that I know my next steps and I'm being, like I said, patient with myself so that I'm not rushing and I'm marking up um, the materials and that I'm just taking it at a pace. You know, it's not a rush and whatever I'm doing, it's going to get completed because I've taken the time in my day to get this done. Like, I don't have to be rushed. I'm not on no timeline. And I'm taking care of this material, you know, it's in my hand. So if it uh, is ever damaged, then that's on me. I finally got it set up. I set it up and everything. There's no scratches on it. It's a beautiful mahogany. I'm wiping off all the chairs, getting it set up around. I just wanted a little decoration on it, some plating, and just to put something on it for the first setting. And it came out real cute. I was real proud of myself for the first setup and relieved it was done. I appreciate the, taking the time for myself to do this so I can see myself be creative and knowing that I can do this and have the capability of being Talk handy, handy and man. affirming myself every single time to see my creativity come to life and keeping it cute at the end of the day. As always, thanks for the love and y'all stay safe.